Yes, sir. Ain't that right? Amen. Well, today I want to talk to you a little bit about holding on. Oh, All right. Yeah. See, that's part of the process yes. of going to another level. Mm -hmm. It's holding on. Yes. Did you not know that God always have somebody in the place for us. Come on. Oh, yeah. Amen. But did you also not know that Satan had undercover agents in his church? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mr. Somebody did. Come on. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Satan had undercover agents in his church. Uh -huh. That's right. Just like Christ Got people, Satan got them here too. Mm -hmm. See, the first thing you must understand is that everybody's not saved. Come on in. Right. Everybody don't have a Christ-like heart. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we're in it for what we can get for ourselves. And if you read the scripture, we had it in, in, in church school this morning. Yes. To be a servant of Christ. Yes. We got to have a servant attitude. Yes, sir. All right. yes, sir. Come on now. Yes, sir. There's a lot of us, we, and, and the reason I'm telling you that so we can quit getting mad all the time. All right. All right. All right. We get mad all the time. Right. The thing don't go our way, we get mad. Yeah. Always get mad. Always. Yeah. If so and so wasn't here, mm -hmm. maybe the church would run some run back. Yeah. Maybe it ain't so-and-so, maybe it's you. <laughs> maybe you the undercover agent. Because <laughs> maybe every time something gets going here, you come always complaining. Mm -hmm. yeah. Think about it. Yeah. Tell y'all, we're trying to get to another level. Yeah. All right. If we're going to get to another level, we cannot allow Satan to take control yeah. of our yeah. church. Yeah. He got his agents, y'all. Yeah. And them bad boys are sitting in here. <laughs> you need to know they're here that they, they, they smile with you. Mm -hmm. They even pat you on your back. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ray. Yeah. Boy, you talking this morning. He yeah. throw a few amens at me all the time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but you need to know it, 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 it's more than that. It's yeah. more than that. Yeah. You gotta have a Christ life. To yeah. serve him. Yeah. Yeah. He got me here, y'all. Yeah. Man, he doing a pretty good job sometimes. Oh, yeah. I told him in Bible study the other night. Sam, if y'all come to Bible study, you get a little bit more. <laughs> I told him in Bible study the other night. Yeah. One of the problems we have is when things don't go according to plan, uh -huh. we vacate the premises. Mm -hmm. Don't you ever, I, 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 you might have done it in the past, but let me give you a secret on the inside. Mm -hmm. Don't you ever vacate your premises mm -hmm. because you don't like something going on. Mm -hmm. You see, that what, that's an undercover agent for safety. Uh -huh. yeah. His task is to get you out of the church. Mm -hmm. All right. His task is to make you leave the church. Yes. His task is to bother you, make things not go your way. Right. Don't you leave your church because Satan is on the right. right. We have to learn how to overcome Satan. We can't do it ourselves. No. Am I right? No. But, 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 but the, the Bible said, God said, be still and watch me do something for you. Yes. I'm going to make you an enemy. Hey. Come on now. Oh, yeah. If you make my enemy the first two, yeah. then I'm going to go to the next level. Oh, yeah. 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 Our problem is we ain't moving because we allowed everything to bother us. Uh -huh. we, 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 we're painting in church because we're mad with everybody. Yeah. Not knowing. Don't you doubt it. Don't you die when you're mad. Mm -hmm. If you're mad with the church and die, don't you do that. <laughs> if you're mad with the pastor yeah. and die, you better put in your request. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't let him preach my film. Yeah. Don't let him do my eulogy, y'all. Yeah. Quit. Yeah. We can't. The thing about it, we got to understand that Satan is doing his job. Yeah. His job is to bring division in your church. Yeah. 
and he's doing a good job sometimes. Uh -huh. When we on the phone talking about everything but Jesus, oh, yeah. he's doing a good job. Yeah, he is. And still, I'm just trying to teach you something, y'all. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to get us to a point that we can grow in Christ. Yes. Still, when, when, even when you're mad and you get on the phone, don't you spend no two or three hours yeah. talking about your church. All right. That's right. Mm. Then you won't even spend 30 seconds yeah. to pray about it. Come on down. Yeah. Come on down. Go ahead and tell it. Oh, y'all, y'all, y'all. Go ahead and tell it. Go ahead and tell it. Somebody, somebody, somebody say, Rev, I'm throwing my foot up so bad right now. I don't know what to do. Somebody tell me, Rev, get off my toe. <laughs> <laughs> you done came down, you done came down my avenue. And, and, and you won't get off my avenue. Get off my avenue. Go on somebody else's street. But I need to stay on your street. Come on in. Because if you ain't doing what the Lord asked you to do, yeah. you, you, you know that you may be blocking the blessings of the church of what you're doing. God is sitting there ready to bless St. Peter, but he said, why should I bless him? And they're spending 99% of their time complaining about everything that right. on in the right. church. God is saying, if they would just recognize that I'm God, I can do all things by myself. If they just run out of trust me, I can make all Old things, new again. Uh -huh. yes. But you got to learn how to trust him. Isn't that right? Yes. If I can tell you anything this morning, mm -hmm. even if Satan is still in the church, uh -huh. he got us under cover of ages oh, here. Yeah. Right. We cannot lose focus on what we're supposed to be doing for God. Amen. We got to keep our eyes yes. on the spout. Worried about him, all they're gonna do is mess you up. Oh yeah. If y'all tell the truth, when you get on the phone and you're talking to somebody, and you begin to talk about your church, I want you to check yourself out. So I'm putting stuff in your head now. So when you begin to do it, you're gonna stop because you're gonna be conscious of what you're doing. Instead of spending so much time talking about the negativity, yes. talk about what's positive about God's church. Oh, yeah. This morning yeah. I walked in church school. Y'all yeah. uh -huh. know it's cold outside, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And some of y'all start complaining about how cold it was. Oh, Lord, it's cold. Yeah. Boy, it's cold this morning. Mm. Boy, it's man, man, it's cold this morning. Mm. I, walked in the, I walked in the door right there and walked over there and me and Brother Vernon was looking at each other and I said, good morning, how y'all doing? Yeah. It says, all right, yeah, it's a little cold outside, but it's so good to feel the cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Come on in. You got, you got to flip that thing here. Right. Yes. It's so good to feel the cool. Yes. Right. yes. Now, y'all know I told y'all in the very beginning that I go through hot flashes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> now, I can sit and complain about it. Amen. But I just learned how to work through it. Amen. 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 I was not complain about it, but it could have been the other way. That's right. right. I could have been some place and, 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 and wouldn't be able to sit here and talk to you this morning about the hot flesh. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Huh? That's right. We, we sitting there, you got to learn how to, we got to, learn how to flip these things. Yes. When I was a little boy coming up, Brother Will, I think, y'all, we remember when it used to be cold, you didn't have a lot of bugs. Right. That cold that killed the bug. Oh, yeah. But yeah. evidently somebody kept praying, Lord, it's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking you. You got it now where ain't that cold, ain't no bug dying. Yeah. Right. And we'll be in any danger with the bug. Ain't that right? Oh, yeah. Huh? Y'all remember y'all used to walk out there on the ground? And it'd be so cold that the, that, that the frost on the ground, you have a child. That was, that was the most fun thing to do. Walk out there here, crush on your feet. Amen. 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 You can't hear nothing no more. They no more crushing no more. We done, we done prayed everything away. Y'all, we need to learn how to pray for the right things. Yes. We need to learn how to flip things around. Yeah. If we're going to go to the next level in our life, uh -huh. we got to become positive. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm broke, I ain't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta be positive. Yes. Come on in. God, you gonna give me an opportunity. Yes. 
Thank you, Lord. Uh, you can show me a way yes, to yes. make some money. Thank you. Oh, uh, Lord, you're going to send somebody in our life yeah. All right. that's going to do right, God. Thank yes. you, Lord. And you got to give God the praise. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Yes. And put that praise in so We complain true. about so much. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell y'all something. Please do this for me. Quit this woe with myself. Yeah. Huh. It don't do nothing but keep you, you, you know that's a, a trick of Satan. Mm -hmm. Satan got a trick on us. Mm -hmm. As long as I keep saying, woe with myself. Come on. Oh, y'all just don't understand where I'm going. That's right. Y'all don't understand what's happening to me. Y'all y'all, ain't been in my shoes. Yeah. Well, how you know we ain't been in your shoes? That's right. You might have took my shoes away from me and you didn't need the shoes. Because it wasn't your shoes to start with. All right. And you got on my shoes. If you take my shoes off, you may not be in, as bad as you think you are. All right. All right. That's right. All right. We got to look at everything and learn from it. Mm -hmm. But we don't do that. In our scriptures text today, I read three different ones for you. All right. All of those churches. Right. The first church that I read. They were going through a lot of persecution. Yes. But God, but, but Jesus reminded them through John. Right. Tell them to hold on. Hold on. Tell them, yes, they're going to persecute you. Yes. But the 10 days that you hear is not 10 physical days. Yeah, right. But it is the symbolicness of a short period of time. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't going to be going through what you're going through all the time. Yeah. And what you need to understand as Christians, we will suffer. Yes. Yes. Now you may you may not be suffering today, but something's gonna come up. Yes. And instead of complaining about it, hey. you just give God the praise. Hey. Lord, I thank you hey. that you stripped me hey. of death. Yeah. That what I'm going through, yes, I, 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 my mindset don't say commit suicide. Yes. My mindset ain't got to be retreat back into a puppy hole.
of how Balak, Balaam tried to get Balak to curse the Israelites. That's right, that's right. And when he went to curse them, mm -hmm. God right. trusted him. Yeah. Trust him. Yeah. Turn it into a blessing. A blessing. All right. yeah. Sometimes your cursing ain't always bad. Yes. Right. Right. You got to look at that thing sometimes. Uh -huh. I, I'm hoping I'm helping somebody. Yeah. I hope I'm going down your street right now. Yeah. I'm hoping because I know some of you. Yeah. You sit there and you, and, 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 and you become despondent. Right. Because there's somebody on your street. Uh -huh. Always messing with you. All right. Always doing something to you. Yeah. And you are sick and tired. I'm saying pray for them. Right. You see, when they know they got you. Uh -huh. You ever have people who know they can get on your last nerve? Mm -hmm. Bro Brother Anthony? Yeah. You got my last name that I can call in there. Yeah. Yeah. You ever have people who get on your last nerve, Brother Willis? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brother Wayne, you ever have people get on your last nerve? Yeah. Huh? Come on yeah. now. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Come on now. Sit the bed. Some of 
many names, so many names we don't give out children. We don't know what they are. We just, it just sounds pretty. All names sound pretty, ain't pretty. You gotta go read the background on some of these names. Some of these names don't mean what it is when a child grows up. And there's something about a name, y'all. Y'all may not like to understand that. But it's something about a name that you name your child and what your child turn out to be sometimes. All right. All right. All right. Be careful what we name our children. Yeah. Because for some reason that name has a spirit with it. Uh -huh. And that spirit goes to tell our children. Mm -hmm. and, and the children start acting just like they name. Look at that old Jesse Bell over there. <laughs> huh, look at it. Look at it. We got to be mindful. Right. And so the Lord took and condemned foul terror for what this prophet was doing. All right. And I think what made God so upset yeah. was that this thing was entering his church. Yes. We have a we have allowed so much stuff to come in our church. Yes, yes we have. And we wonder why our churches are not moving. All right. Yes. I mean, any and everything goes in the church. Yes, yes. 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 One time we used to have a, a, a time where, where where we took and and, 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 and our forefathers and mother, they you stepped out, they they chastised you. Right. We don't do that anymore. We have allowed that's why that's why that's why everything comes in your pulpit. See it started from the back door. Alright. And it got in your pews. Mm. And then it creeped on in your pool. Yeah. And now y'all mad. <laughs> Ain't nobody can eat in there until you get mad at nobody but yourself. That's Amen. Right. That's right. That's right. Sometimes it was your own family doing some stuff. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Now you know, now you know your brother without them doing everything. Yeah. And then you get mad with the church. Because the church would make them a trustee. <laughs> All right. Now. All right. All right. All right. I'm hoping it's helping us. Yes. If we're going to go to another level in our ministry, we're going to go to another level of God want us, we got to tell the truth. Yes. You know good way your brother or your sister had no business being on no school yes. board as a trustee. Amen. Right. Amen. And then you get mad with the pastor. Yes. You don't know, Pastor. We pay the most money in the church. <laughs> what that supposed to mean? That's right. That's right. That's right. Nothing. That ain't supposed to mean nothing. All it's supposed to mean is that you pay more money in the church. That's all it's supposed to mean. Amen. Come on now. I hate to say it, but we allow that to creep from there to here. Uh -huh. Somebody thought they needed to preach. Yes. Mm -hmm. God ain't called them. Yes. Yes. All rain. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was what they broke. Mm -hmm. And they answered the phone. Yeah. Right. <laughs> then they care about it. The Lord called me. Yeah. God will call any of us. Right. Don't get me wrong. But when he called us, right. he began to clean us up. Yes. Yes. He began to he began to remove things. Everything ain't gonna ever leave all of us. Yes. But he but but he began to remove things yes. Yes. from us. Yes. If you were a liar before you came in the pulpit, yeah. all right. and you come in the pulpit, yeah. and you ain't start changing before you got here, yeah. you're going to be a bigger liar yeah. behind the pulpit. Yeah. All right. And all right. All right. If you mean and nasty to them, it doesn't make a difference if you were that way before, and you ain't cleaning yourself up. You need to get worse when you get back here. Uh -huh. If you were running that street before, uh -huh. you were running that street while the call was coming, right. you were running the street when you got the call, right. you ran the street when you came in, yeah. you ran in the street when they called your name, yeah. right. and you kept running in the street. Yeah. All you want to do when they are dangerous, yeah. you're going to keep running. Yeah. Yeah. There ain't nobody chest ties and nobody no more. Come on yeah. People doing what they want to do now. Right. And this is what the Lord is saying. I've got something against you. Yes. You have allowed 
it ain't everybody to come into my church. Yes. But God is also telling us this morning yes. that he wants us to hold on yes. until God's unchanging hand. Yes. Our problem is that some of us want to give up. But I come this morning to tell you to hold on. Yes. God want to do a mighty work in our life. If we hold on, God will make some changes in our lives. So there's just a couple of things I want to get to y'all. Right. One is stop becoming so upset at non-believers. Isn't it the Bible say if they won't hear what you're doing, take and wipe your feet off. Isn't that what it says? It says wipe your feet, huh? And you go on to the next place. Isn't that right? Amen. Let, let, let that dirt be a testimony against them. Yes. Quit getting mad. Let God handle it. Oh, yeah. That's God's task. Yeah. We try to take on things that God needs to do. Uh -huh. And if we let God do what he do, it'll be better for us. Do not lose focus and end up losing your life. Yeah. Some of us lose our focus. Yeah. We get so upset by everything going on. And we lose our focus. Isn't that right? Yeah. We can't focus on nothing. Somebody come along, boom, it's gone. Get on the phone. Did you hear what's going on down at St. Peter's? Wouldn't it be good if when you get on the phone and somebody say, did you hear what's going on at St. Peter's? You can tell them, yes, I know what's going on at St. Peter. I can tell them that God is in the house. I can tell them that God is saving souls. I can tell them that God is changing lives down there. I can tell them that God is making a way out of nowhere. Yeah. I can tell them that he has become our bridge yeah. over troubled water. Isn't that right? Yeah. I can tell them about the goodness of the Jesus yeah. and all that he has done for me. Yeah. If we want to go to the next level, yeah. stop complaining. Yes. Yes. I want to tell y'all something. Yeah. So far, since I've been here. Going on three months now. I ask us, don't complain. I say, even when we look at what we have to do for the church outside of the church, I say, let's not complain. Because complaining don't do nothing for us. We still got to get it done. So what we need to do is roll our sleeves up and just call on the master and say, Lord, I need you. If we trust God, don't you know God will make a way for us? See, when we start complaining so much, that means we ain't trusting God that we should. I challenge you again today. I don't know about you, but we're going to the next level. Go ahead and let Satan have his undercover agents in here. That don't mean he can't stop my shout, can he? He can't stop me from going to another level. The undercover agent can't take my joy unless I give it to him. And we have to declare that we're not going to give him that opportunity. Do you trust God enough? I'm going to see how much. No, God is. God, God been talking to me. And he's telling me that St. Peter's on the move. We may not know it or feel it, but we're coming a long way. is a very, 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 very slight Sunday. See, people don't come at all. You may come, they got 10 people in the whole church. Look around. Amen. Tell me what your Lord God is doing. Amen. He's walking up step by step. Amen. I am not discouraged 
what you want to see. Because the vision that I see is that God is getting ready to do something for us. Yeah. And I'm trusting him. For the next couple of Sundays, I started last Sunday. I'm going to go a couple more Sundays. I don't want nothing but the music playing for the invitation. I want you to stand. Y'all remember who y'all went and grabbed hands with last time? Don't grab them this time. Find someone else. You see, if we don't want to deal with unity in this church, we got to deal with unity. We got to go get people that's different than who we got. Our problem, we want to keep going back to the same place. Isn't that right? So I'm challenging you right now. Find somebody you didn't hold hands with last week because we're going to be praying for this church. And bring them to the altar. No, I didn't say bring them. Walk with them to the altar. Walk with them. They cannot be the same person you had last week. They got to be somebody different. They got to be somebody different. Thank you. Thank you, man. I'm glad you didn't leave. You do it. God is our working for you, Father. He's showing us how to get out of our comfort zone. See, and we used to get in that comfort zone, and we get the same person, the same person. Tell me, don't those hands feel different than what they felt last week? And because they feel different than what they felt last week, it's telling us that I'm moving to another level. And God is doing a mighty work in our lives. Amen. Amen. God is good, y'all. While the music is playing, won't you just bow your head, close your eyes. Yeah, 
determination that we will go after those members who have gone astray that when we see them we'll, we'll look at them with joy we'll hug them with joy we'll let them know God that we miss them that we will love for them to come back home God I thank you God I thank you for what you're about to do for us you ain't through with us yet you ain't through Lord keep us because we can't keep ourselves Lord I thank you If y'all don't mind, those hands of the ones you grab, just for about 30 seconds to a minute, pray for them. I want you to pray for them. And then give them something positive about them. And if you can't do it, it means you don't know them. And you need to learn how to know. So for about 30 seconds, just grab the hands. You don't have to do it out loud, but if you want to, you can. It don't make a difference. Pray for them. Start now.